Good morning, St. Francis. Good morning, people of God. It is Tuesday, the 15th day of August 2023, Tuesday of the uh, of the 19th week of the year, the 19th week in ordinary time. It is also uh, the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary taken body and soul into heaven um, uh, and, and remembered in, in, in that way. Um, in the Eastern Church is called uh, the Dormition of the Blessed Virgin, uh, her falling asleep. Uh, so the Western Church basically kicks it up a notch and just makes it into something into something more. Um, yeah, coming to you from uh, part of my bedroom because this, this is a quick one today because I just got back. I'm in Raleigh again uh, for a little bit of time and uh, and so there's a couple of things that need to be done. Um, the uh, just just to suffice to say, what are we celebrating today? We're not celebrating her immaculate conception that is in December, nor are we celebrating the fact that she is assumed because she is immaculate, i.e., perfect. Because Scripture shows us that there were some bumps and bruises. If we think that perfection means never never making mistakes and never having any faults, because remember she forgets Jesus in Jerusalem uh, for about three days or so, uh, has to go back and find him. So, uh, no, it is not, it is not about that. Mary isn't rewarded, uh, for basically, uh, being something that God created her to be, because that would not be much of a reward. God created that. Why would God reward it? Again, she is rewarded because of what Elizabeth says in today's gospel, um, that, uh, she has the courage to believe that what was promised to her by God would be fulfilled. Her courage to believe that God's promises do not fail, that God's promises do not come to nothing, that God does not lie, that God does not um, uh, lead us on, you know, in, 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 in a terrible, awful, joking way, uh, but that God is the one who says, I promise to do this and it will be done. And so for us today, again, we are to consider the fact that, again, this world in which we live, quite a mess all over the place. Um, and while we might want to have, you know, easy, wonderful things to be able to help us understand, you know, how things work and whatever it is, it isn't that way. Um, and so we can either get mired in the mess and find despair and hopelessness in it, or we can take a look and remember that at the beginning, God said it was good. Um, six days, six times, God says it is good. And even um, a little interlude with a snake and an apple, a man and a woman doesn't destroy that goodness. It still remains. Mary's assumption shows us that it is good in the end because Mary is assumed again as a human being who basically said yes and dared to believe again that God's promises will be fulfilled. And because of that, she promises goodness at the end. In the middle, it's a mess. Um, and basically, we need to remember that our hope lies in remembering the two sides of goodness that we are sandwiched in and that we move towards the goodness in the end that, that comes from the goodness that was at the beginning. With that kind of hope, with that kind of destiny, we give witness to the world and that in many ways realize that God's promises are coming true, are coming, being fulfilled in us and in the ways that we are able to give hope and meaning um, and life uh, to the world around us. Um, so remember that on this Assumption Day, uh, that as Mary was brought into heaven because she dared to believe that God would never, ever go back on the promises God has made. So we too are asked to dare to believe um, in the same kind of hope, in the same kind of promise, in the same kind of joy that gives life and that gives wonder to our lives. A blessed day, St. Francis and people of God. May the Lord give you his peace.